Greetings, unsettled souls. That's not the usual theme song. It's called Dildo by Interactive, by the way. One of my favorite old school techno songs. Why am I playing Dildo? Let me turn it down. We're going to let it ride. It's a really good song, but... Watch. Everybody's going to go look up Dildo and not listen to the show now. Fox News. MMA fighter shoves sex toy in opponent's face at a weigh-in. Now, I'll let you watch Dildo, too. This made me particularly upset because I took martial arts for a while. Um, how good am I? If you come at me, I can probably get you off of me long enough to figure out what my next move should be. There's an average chance that I'm going to win the fight. I'm not afraid to walk down the street, even though I live in a death city. And if you're really good at martial arts, you're probably going to kill me. Anyway, the point was that you should always, always show respect to your opponent. That's one of the things that make me angry when the thugs beat somebody up and then they kick them when they're down and steal their cell phone. If I knock somebody out, I'm probably going to make sure their head's turned on their side so if they puke, they don't die like Bomb Scott. And then I'm going to leave before they get up and God only really knows. I'm going to leave. I'm probably going to call 911 and I'm going to leave. That's what I'm going to do. Instead, the wow, wow, wigged owl happened here. There's unsportsmanlike behavior, and then there's a female fighter shoving a big black dildo in her opponent's face during a Polish mixed martial arts weigh-in. What did one pull? Never mind, never mind, the video will get banned. There's unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, what, did we have be what did we become as a society? It says, what happened to staring down your opponent without the help of a monster phallic toy? Good question. Boxer Yua Brednica, making her MMA debut, strode across the stage and shoved the BB silicone C. I'm not going to call it that, friends. We're going to call it. A, we're going to call it a schlong. Are you with me? Into Anelia Bogut's face in one of the most disrespectful moments in mixed martial arts history. As you can see in the video, Bokitz didn't appreciate being the victim of such unsportsmanlike behavior and launched the schlong back at Brodnika. Oh, hell no, nah, queen, she said. All right, let me shut off this deeply moving love song. Here's the video real quick. Now, again, before I play it, my problem with this is that martial arts is where you don't just respect, you don't just respect your opponent. But you take your kids to martial arts. Kids watch other martial artists to be like them. Now, wrestling, not so much because of uh, kayfabe. For those of you that don't know what it is, that's the idea of acting. For instance, uh, Paul Orndorff beat up Cindy Lauper. Everyone knows that. That's also kayfabe. It didn't really happen. But everywhere he went, he talked about it. That's not what I'm talking about. If you believe that and you're a kid, that means your parent's an idiot. I'm talking, these are legitimate. This is actually real. And this is ruined. Like everything else, like like good music gets ruined. Uh, good art gets ruined. Now the art of martial arts is being ruined with this kind of trashy, trailer park meets thuggery mentality. It's, uh, look. Let me get the volume up for you because... I'm sure all of you speak Polish. She threw a dildo at her. That's great. I'd have thrown it at her too. What's funny is neither of them kick like they've ever thrown a kick before. Now look at this. Look. What the hell is that? All right, that one was a little better. The first one looks like she's never thrown a kick before. I, I was like, oh my. But anyway, good news. She won the match. I didn't see it. My guess is she didn't win it with a kick. I shouldn't say that because this girl's going to see the video and she totally is able to whip my ass. So that'll be, that'll be a great video. Sam gets his ass whipped by a Polish chick. 
who had a dildo shoved in her face. That's a great video title. Saturday night, the two got in and outside, got it on inside the octagon with Bukuts winning, which is good, in the third round by TKO. But it's the way in that will be remembered. And uh, again, it's going to go on to describe what happened. But you just saw it, so I'm not going to have you sit through it. Look it up on Fox. But here, let me leave you with this. And there's countless videos where trash talking ends terribly. But let me leave you with this, because I actually liked her. I don't know if I still do. It's, it's ebbing quickly. Ronda Rousey. I really liked her. She, the people are like, well, you know, there's a lot better than her. Well, there wasn't when she started. You have to remember that. For instance, Vito Brada and Randy Rhodes were much better at the finger tapping technique than Eddie Van Halen was. Randy Rhodes, for those of you that know anything about music, did it in these crazy diminished keys. and it, 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 You'd have to tap one note and then hold the one under it to prevent it from ringing. It was like rocket science. But it wouldn't have happened without Eddie. So Ronda Rousey, I really liked her for a while. And I remember when Roddy Piper was dying, uh, one of his last interviews was with her. And she asked if she could take his name. Even though, again, kayfabe, he was a wrestler, Rowdy Roddy Piper. One of the best ever. I got to meet him once. He stayed in character, which greatly offended me as a kid. I mean, it wasn't until I got older that I appreciated it. I still think after the match was over and the kid's like eight, maybe you shouldn't stay in character. But he did. And uh, he's a jerk. But my dad was like, he's not really a jerk, Sammy. I figured it out later. He gave her permission to take his name. And she asked and she showed great respect. And now she's become what we saw when she was saying that the one girl was a country bumpkin and she didn't know anything about it and that she felt like it was beneath her to even have to fight her. I was paraphrasing, but you know what I mean. Rousey got her ass stopped. She got obliterated and she hasn't really done that well since. She needed facial reconstruction, I think, from her last match. I know she needed some after the one I'm talking about. They might have been the same one, but I think they were two different uh, matches. Okay, I don't want to necessarily see all that happen to somebody, because Lord knows I've run my mouth a time or two. But when you bring that into a sport like this, you not only damage the sport, but you look like an idiot in the event that you lose. Let me know what you think in the comment line, friends. Good night. God bless.